Hey everybody, Sully Man here again. Uh, today I got something free for you. Um, it's actually a suggestion from one of uh, my YouTube users. Um, I'm gonna r probably murder your uh, <laughs> your your screen name, but uh, Han Ficking uh, or Han Han Fi King. I'm not not exactly sure, but anyways, he suggested that uh, I just go ahead and uh, import the 3D object file into the PSD because Photoshop is now capable of handling um, 3D objects. Um, so you can kind of do, you know, to spin your t-shirt around in 3D space and get the angle that you want and, and uh, you know, it's pretty darn versatile so I went ahead and did that. Um, so here it is. Uh, this is the layer breakdown and, and what it is essentially is this top one is the layer containing the 3D object that you can actually move in 3D space. This is a color fill layer and right now I just have it set to a white background because the 3D t-shirt layer is set to multiply so the really nice background um, will show through which I'll show you right here so you can see the lighting um, for the background shows through the t-shirt so I just have this white one here so you can kind of see this for the moment so essentially how this works is you click onto the 3D layer and go to your move tool and that will enable all the 3D options. Um, you have the Z, Y, and X axis, and then you have um, areas that you can activate to be able to move the T-shirt around, spin the T-shirt around, stretch the T-shirt around. The first one will stretch, the middle one is for rotation, and this is to actually move the coordinates um, of the object in this case our t-shirt so well, you guys are probably really going to be more focused on the middle one which is the rotation um, so essentially what you're going to do is just kind of rotate your t-shirt in 3d space get the angle that you want it to be at um, yeah we'll just say you know say you had a customer that wanted to you know a side angle of the t-shirt you find the angle that you want once you're done click in um, which will <coughs> then essentially release the 3d options from the screen um, and if you want a white t-shirt that's great but uh, I have this layer just a color fill layer here set and essentially what you do once you're done just hold control and click on the 3d t-shirt layers thumbnail which will then turn whatever is on screen into a selection and then with your color fill layer turn it on and just apply the mask and now you all you have to do is double click on the color and select whatever color you want your t-shirt to be so we'll just go with red for now um, and then it's just going ahead slapping your artwork and just make sure your artwork is below this 3D t-shirt layer because the multiply will apply all the nice texture um, and values from the uh, the 3D t-shirt layer onto your artwork. So I went ahead and just created a new um, a new document um, and you know created some quick artwork. Um, this artwork was actually created um, with a custom pack, which I'll be releasing. It's going to be 10 bucks. This one isn't going to be free, but uh, it's uh, jam-packed with some pretty cool stuff that you can do. Um, and essentially, all I did was, with some type, type this out. You know, kind of basically create my artwork. And it, it'll be high-res, so you can actually, you know, make your final artwork with it. Um, and you're basically set with all these cool effects. This one, I, I, I used a Chrome. Um, there's a few different options for Chrome, and, and you can even go in after and kind of tweak them yourself. Um, which I'll actually take a moment to show you right now. So, like with this one, I want to change the the way the pattern is right now. You can scale the pattern up, and then you can actually move, you know, move the pattern around to get to the area that you like. Um, and then there's some other options, taking out a drop shadow if you don't want the drop shadow. If you do like the drop shadow and just want to shrink it down a little bit or what have you customizable, fully customizable, do what you want with it. We'll just go ahead and rasterize the layer style. And then I can just drag and drop it. So we'll just pretend this was, you know, already there and you know, you got your approved artwork and you just got to get it out to uh, your client to show them what it'll look like on the shirt or if you're just trying to sell the idea, just get the artwork on a shirt so they can see what it looks like. Um, I'll go ahead and rotate this. We'll just pretend it's like a side hit. And there you go. And as you can see, it's actually applying um, the values from the shirt layer onto the artwork, and it's essentially ready to go. Um, I could turn this off, and you have that background. Um, also, a quick tip for the people that are um, uh, fairly nitpicky, such as myself, 
Um, you'll notice the shadow, the drop, the cast shadow in the background with the t-shirt is actually has a little bit of a red hue. So essentially, if light was coming through this, casting through the t-shirt, it would actually cast a little bit of a red hue in the shadow. But if you want to remove that um, at any angle that you, you choose in the future, just hold control, click on the 3D layer thumbnail or on the mask, head over to channels, create a new layer. And if you notice, which I'll zoom in, you'll see the, the, the values there. Um, all you have to do is bring up levels or curves just to do a quick black boost to remove it. That will be your new um, mask. So hold control to activate the selection, delete this layer mask and replace it with the new one by just clicking on the mask. And you'll notice these shadows are now black. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this and, and uh, hope you learned something. And go ahead, uh, hop down in the description. I'll place the link there where you can download this for free. And also keep an eye out for the uh, my Layer Styles pack. Um, I'll have up, of, it'll be for 10 bucks. There's all sorts of stuff you can do with it. I'll post a video on that uh, showing you how you can kind of work with some of the stuff in there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks. Like I said in the video, here's the layer styles effects video that explains the layer pack that I just came out with. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and click now. Uh, again, thanks for watching.